Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. I am Kristen, sister number two, and today we are making pantry enchiladas. There's only two ingredients that you're not gonna use that are from your pantry, which are tortillas and cheese. Cheese is totally optional, you don't have to add it. I just love cheese, so I like to add it. But the majority of these ingredients are all from your pantry. I think my favorite thing about this recipe is that it only takes 30 minutes. So if you have a busy night, put this as one of your recipes for the week because you can really make it beforehand. You can make it with just 30 minutes before dinner. It's so easy. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to us, go ahead and do that and push the little bell so you can get all of our notifications on YouTube. All right, let's go make these pantry enchiladas. All right, let's start with our beans. We have one can of pinto beans, one can of garbanzo beans, one can of great northern beans, and then, let's see, chopped green chilies, and then one can of condensed cream of chicken soup, and then enchilada sauce. Now, I did a Kroger pickup, and they gave me this huge can of enchilada sauce, so I've never tried this brand before. I'll have to let you know how it goes. And I'm gonna take my can opener and open all my cans at once. It just makes it so much easier for me to have a recipe when all my cans are opened. So I drained and rinsed all three cans of my beans. Now I'm gonna add some things to my beans. First I'm going to put in my chopped chilies. I drained them just a little bit. There wasn't a lot to drain from them. Then I'm gonna add my condensed cream of chicken soup. You can also use just normal cream of chicken soup, but this one makes it a little more soupy, a little more liquidy instead of so thick. Next, I'm just gonna add some flavor. I picked a little bit of garlic salt. You can do salt and pepper. Then just mix it all up. Next time I will use a bigger bowl. <laughs> Anyways, once you're done mixing, that is your middle mixture, so you're ready to go. Next, I'm gonna take my enchilada sauce and just pour a little bit on the bottom. So one, it helps your tortillas not stick to your pan, and two, it just gives it more sauce. Now we're gonna fill up the tortillas. So be pretty generous with your beans because you're only gonna make about eight tortillas. So fill them up so they're pretty full. And don't forget, as you are rolling them, you're going to place them into the pan seam side down so they don't open up. All right, now that they're done, it's time to add the enchilada sauce on top. Now, if this was a small can, I would pour the rest of it on. But since it's so big, I'm just gonna use about half the can of enchilada sauce. Then I'll probably just put it in a container and we'll have enchiladas the next week. All right, now it's time for the cheese. If you don't wanna use cheese, you don't have to, but like I said before, we love cheese. Once the cheese is on, you're gonna put it in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. And here they are, pantry enchiladas. Now, if you have other things you wanna put on, I like to put on tomatoes, sour cream, guacamole, you know it works but if you haven't done so subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos we have of our tips tricks and of course our recipes okay guys see you later